Today we are reviewing the latest Tesla update 2019.36.2.1 and the features the update did and did not include. This update is now a few weeks old and everyone should have received it or will be receiving this update very soon. There are a few cool features that were released in this update that are worthy of some discussion. For those of you who don't know what one pedal driving is, it essentially allows the car to use regenerative braking along with brake assistance to slow down the car and bring it to a complete stop all without having the driver press the brake. Take a quick look and see how this feature works. Okay, everybody, so we are gonna test one pedal driving with my beautiful wife here who um, doesn't really care all that much for regenerative braking. <laughs> um, sometimes she thinks it's a little bit too much. Um, so we're gonna see how she actually likes one pedal driving. What was that? Well, the stop sign's all the way up there. Yeah, so <laughs> we're far away from the stop sign. So to get used to it, oh, okay. I, I think you have to time sort of when you need to stop or when you need to let off the accelerator to really use one pedal driving because it definitely does um, stop fairly abruptly. Oh boy. So what do you think about that 5% power increase there? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the idea is just to mix in your deacceleration when you need to slow down at a stop sign or stoplight and sort of get used to the timing of how long it takes the car to actually come to a stop. Um, because if you do it too soon, you're definitely gonna stop short of the stop sign. So here's another one. Oh, I timed that one good. And hold. And go. Perfect. How did that feel? It's different. It's different. <laughs> well, that's for sure. Do you like not having to push on the brake? Um, or are you just so I'm used just, to it that yeah. it's... Yeah, I think I'm just used to um, using the brake. Because in my truck, you have to really hit the brake to hit get it to brakes. stop. <laughs> It's a really cool feature and I love how it works. It takes some getting used to, but overall, I really like this feature and it takes a little stress out of driving. This cool enhancement allows you to set the time you will depart each day. The car will charge to your specified charge limit right before your scheduled departure time. It allows you to charge when rates are at the lowest. It gets the battery to the optimal temperature for consistent regenerative braking and acceleration. It sets the climate control so that it is comfortable at your departure time without you having to fumble through your app and set your HVAC system to the way that you want it. It allows you to leave your house with a charge level you choose. Let's dive in and take a quick look at how to set this up. Okay, for your scheduled departure, you have three options to choose from. Off, start charging at, and depart at. So let's go ahead into the first selection here and we're gonna go ahead and start charging at. I always um, have my car scheduled to charge at beginning at 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m. begins my reduced rate with my electric company. So I always have it selected at 12.30 a.m. Um, to begin charging. Now you can see I have these buttons here that are grayed out. So these are specifically related to the depart at and we're gonna go into that menu. And I always leave right around 6 a.m. or just before, and I only leave during the week. So I wanna make sure that I have my preconditioned cabin on weekdays only selected so that my car will continue to charge on the weekends when I'm not heading out at 6 a.m. So we're gonna select that, and that's all you have to do. Now your car will be nice, warm, and toasty when you get into it, or cool for that matter, for those of you in the warmer climates, um, ready for you to depart at your departure time. A very nice, easy to use feature. 
You know, I tweeted a line a while back asking for a feature just like this. I still think it needs a bit more, like the ability to be able to schedule my departure from work as well. That would be awesome. This is the second 5% power increase we received since the inception of the Tesla Model 3. As well as with the first update, I did some testing with my draggy GPS performance based meter. Let's take a quick look at some speed test results for this update. Three, two, one, launch. With the colder weather and the battery being a little on the cold side, the results weren't favorable. However, I feel the increase in power is more in the 30 to 60 and 60 to 90 mile per hour range. It certainly feels very peppy out of the gate and I love the fact that my car's performance gets better via a software update. It's truly amazing. Automatic navigation will automatically turn on your navigation when you enter your vehicle to head to work and then again from work to home, if you have these set. It will also sync with your phone calendar and navigate you to that destination. It's still a pretty cool feature and I'll be testing the calendar nav soon. One of the features that everyone has been talking about in this update is the visualization update that now shows traffic cones when autopilot is engaged. For those who have hardware 3.0, you will receive this update and will be able to see this visualization in your car. For those of you who have hardware 2.5 or less, unfortunately you will not see this feature in your vehicle, which many people are upset about. This is where we start crossing the line between full self-driving and enhanced autopilot capabilities. Elon has stated many times that full self-driving features will only be available for hardware 3.0 vehicles or vehicles with 3.0 hardware. If you're an early adopter of the Tesla Model 3, you will have 2.5 installed in your vehicle. In this case, you will be required to upgrade to full self-driving to take advantage of this and future feature updates. Which is a bummer, but like everything else, hardware has limitations. If you really feel that you want this feature and future updates, I would suggest that you upgrade to full self-driving. The flip side in doing so is for many of us who have already upgraded to full self-driving, we're still waiting for that hardware update to happen. Tesla has not released any information as to when this may occur. Here's a snippet of the release notes. The driving visualization now displays traffic cones. In cases where traffic cones are detected and navigate on autopilot is engaged which requires full self-driving. The vehicle is designed to suggest a lane change to avoid the cones. And as always, you are responsible for your vehicle and are required to pay attention at all times. All right, so new update, no hardware three, just on 2.5. Although I did purchase a handful of months back, uh, full self-driving and am eagerly waiting for that hardware replacement to begin but as you can see on my screen I have no cones being detected and I am in a complete construction zone uh, with navigate on autopilot on and um, it is cruising really close to these cones um, it's not detecting um, any information in the screen even though they're I'd say they're fairly close together and it's not recognizing them at all as a matter of fact it just tried to turn on the turn signal um, to go into another lane I guess but there's only a two-lane highway and uh, this is all that we're seeing so eager to see how the 3.0 hardware uh, compares to 2.5 in this type of scenario this feature is the first hardware 3.0 only feature release I can only assume that more will be headed our way in the very near future. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this one. 
All in all, I give this update two thumbs up. Tesla did a great job with adding these new features to the already feature-rich Tesla lineup. What are your thoughts about these features? Have you ever driven a car that gets better over time? What about the one pedal driving feature? Have you ever experienced driving a vehicle with one pedal? And <laughs> this is my first time. What are your thoughts about the schedule departure feature? Are you happy Tesla finally added this? Comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We truly appreciate you taking time to watch our channel. We'll see you on the next one.